वेलकम फ्रेंड्स लेट अस सॉल्व द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 3.6 ऑफ चैप्टर थ्री एंड द क्वेश्चन से सॉल्व द फॉलोइंग पार्ट ऑफ इक्वेशंस बाय रिड्यूसिंग देम टू ए पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशंस एंड हियर वी हैव टू इक्वेशंस फर्स्ट वी हैव टू रिड्यूस देम इनटू ए पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशंस एंड देन सॉल्व देम सो लेट अस सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट वी कैन राइट दिस फोर ओवर एक्स लाइक दिस फोर टाइम्स वन ओवर एक्स so we shall let that 1 over x is equals to p then our first equation becomes 4p plus 3y equals to 14 and 3p minus 4y equals to 23 This is our equation number one, and this is our equation number two. And now we shall apply the substitution method to solve this pair of linear equation. And for that, we shall start with equation number one from equation number one. And the equation number one is four p plus three y is equals to fourteen. And we shall write the value of p in terms of y. Then it will be four p equals to fourteen minus three y. So this means p is equals to 14 minus 3y over 4, and now we shall substitute this value in equation number two. Putting in equation number two, then it becomes 3p. P is 14 minus 3y over 4 minus 4y equals to 23. and now we shall take this minus 4y to the right hand side then it will be 23 plus 4y and we shall write one in the denominator here we have 3 times 14 minus 3y over 4 and now we shall do cross multiplication then it is equals to 3 times 14 minus 3y equals to 4 times 23 plus 4y If we further solve, then we have t2 minus 9y. Here we have 92 plus 16y, and we shall take this minus 9y to the right hand side. Then it will be 16y plus 9y, and here is 42. We shall take this 92 to the left hand side. Then it will be minus 92. Finally, we have 25 by equals to minus 50. This means y is equals to minus 2. And now we shall put this value in equation number two to get the value of p. Putting in equation number two, and equation number two is 3p minus 4y. Y is minus 2 equals to 23. Here we have 8, 23. Here we have 3p. Here we have 3p is equals to 23 minus 8, so it is equals to 15. And here we have 3p. This means p is equals to 5. And now we can easily find out the value of x. So if p is equals to 5, then 1 over x is equals to 5. This means x is equals to 1 over 5. And y is equals to minus 2. This is the solution of the question. Thank you.